Hey everyone, Big Dave here at Family Dream Homes in Bowling Green, here for another exciting home tour. Today we're going to look at a champion home, it's a 30 by 52, so the square footage comes in around 1577 I believe, so just shy of 1600 square feet, that's three bedrooms, two baths, full drywall, you're not going to miss this tour, stick around. everyone here we are we're gonna go across the front of this beautiful champion home uh y'all gonna have to excuse the wind it is very very windy out here today so you're gonna hear probably a lot of that in the microphones and i do apologize for that i'm just showing these white lineals again champion really does a good job with these lineals on these houses these gridded windows it looks so so nice we're gonna come around here to the side i'll show you once again this osb wrap I'll tell you what this stuff right here Man, it's just worth its weight in gold. Makes a very, very nice sound barrier, very good structural support for the home over time. Another thing I wanted to point out that I didn't point out on my last video is this right here. If you can see this or not, this shake. This is a vinyl, believe it or not. So it's very low maintenance, very easy to clean, but it gives you that nice look of the wood and really kind of sets off the front of this house and these front doors. Love the lighting up there, the light fixtures. If you look up, you can see it's got that nice dormer on it. The little eyebrow up here kind of breaks it up. And again, it's got that board and bat style siding that's running vertical. Really helps kind of give you some contrast. It breaks up the kind of the square look, as I've said. Over here, you have this nice party board support beam coming down here. It's just a nice de decorative beam coming down. If I get it all on the camera here. The camera skills are getting a little better. Also, I'd like to point out these receptacles right here, man. These things are huge. Love them. Having them out here, they're covered and they're wind protected against water and rain and all that good stuff. So we're kind of tight here where I'm at. So I'm going to kind of go down the side here as best I can. For you guys, you can kind of look at it. All right, coming around the side here. We'll bring us around to the back of the house. Can show you all that, and we'll go inside. Everybody can take a tour see what it's all about kind of pan around here for you to see this is coming off your master bath right there these two windows very nice that's not a lot of nice light in come down here to the kitchen similar window to the Florence right here coming to the kitchen see the faucet right there I know all you gardeners and folks out here like to wash your cars and flowers and plant flowers You're gonna love these got your water faucet right here very nice, built in. All right, we're gonna come on down the back here. Two big windows looking into the dining area. Nice grids on the windows. Come over here to your back door. It's got the storm door on it for you. Of course, I got it strapped to keep the wind from catching it. But look at that, it's got a beautiful nine light back door in it. See, you got your porch light up there. So you got a lot of good use of the, the back here dryer vent coming off right here by the door i'm going to highlight something a lot of people probably don't that I, at least i haven't seen you have your fresh water connections right here so when you're going to install your utilities and stuff like that it shows you these connections they got these little handy plates back here it tells you about it, it tells you where they are and kind of what they're doing same right here got your electrical connection you said to see the piping stuff coming down for you to kind of tie in real easy try to make it as plug and play as possible so very nice feature all right, we're gonna swing around the back here, come around back out to the front. All right, guys, we're getting ready to go inside the front here. As always, if you like what you're seeing here, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share to all your friends, just to let them know. It helps out the page and it helps me know what everybody's looking for so I can get new content posted up there, okay? And be sure to hit that notification bell. That way you can follow when everything, anything new is posted for you. All right, let's go inside. has a really really nice homey feel when you come in it's got a lot it's got some dark woods i know some people are fans of that some are not but 
with the way that they use the light from these windows coming in, these tray ceilings and these can lights that are coming up out of there, really kind of opens up and makes it really, really nice and light and airy in here. But you still get that warm, cozy feel, you know, with the dark cabinetry. So it looks really, really nice. All right, I'm going to kind of pan around here into this hallway area. This is right off the living room. So you can see I'll pan back just a little bit for you. There's the front door as you come in. And we're going to be going back this way. And right here is a little corridor. comes right off of it. Of course, the house is not completely finished out, put together. They finished that out on site. As you can see right there where it's kind of the carpet's overlapped. You can see that little trim piece on the wall right there. But that will all be taken care of out there on site once it's delivered. I'm going to kind of pan up here so you can see these crown moldings. Got those nice crown moldings all the way around the living room. Can lighting. Of course, your overhead air up there. Really, really good about thing about overhead air. A lot of people don't know. But if you have a lot of allergies, it's really good for helping keeping the dust down. You know, because you don't have, when you got when you got vents on the floor, and the dust settles to the ground, every time the air kicks on, it blows that air up in the sky, or that dust up in the sky, rather. And then you're breathing it in constantly. So it's also handy if you have little kids that like to stick things in air vents like mine. So <laughs> very nice to have. But come in and hit this first bedroom right off of the living room wall here. You can see you got the nice windows, two by six walls. You got the gridded panes in there. Thermal pan, these are easy flip out. I'm gonna zoom in on this. I didn't do this on the last video either. And of course I will have the size of the rooms posted for you. But you flip that little switch right there. These are double pane. So they're very, very energy efficient. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love that electric bill when it's way less than you've probably used to. So <laughs> I'm gonna pan around the room here. Good size room. Another thing I didn't highlight last time that I'm gonna do this time. Got receptacles. You got a receptacle just about every eight feet. So, house I'm in right now myself doesn't have that. There's those doors. I love those doors. Those doors are awesome. All right. So here's the first closet in this first bedroom. Very very nice. It's a walk-in style closet. As you can see, it goes all the way around to the other side here. If I can get my camera to go with me, someday it will. I need to pay it more, I guess. I'm going to paint down here. we got some, some storage of some materials in here right now, some shingles and stuff. And I don't know if you can see on this carpet, but this is a very nice heavy-duty carpet. It's got a nice pad to it, so it feels really good on your feet as you're walking through it. And so then some of the ones you get, you know, it's just, it's just like, man, this, this is not nice. There's a guest bathroom to my left. We're not going to go in there yet. We're going to go to the other bedroom. Just hold on just a second. All right, so we're in the guest bedroom number two here. As you can see, I'm going to pan up as well. Can lighting in the ceiling up there. Got your air vent, crown moldings. Those same beautiful windows, letting lots of nice light in here. And my favorite doors. Love these doors. All right, so here is your second bedroom, second guest bedroom closet. Still, same size, very nice. Got a lot of good open space here. And come around and off to this other side over here. Got all kinds of storage you can add you can go back and even add other shelving underneath that if you want to so you, you definitely have the space to do it all right i'll post the dimensions for this room as well let me go into this guest bathroom here check it out this is for the guests this is for the kids or friends or family that are hanging out beautiful rain shower head up there one piece fiberglass like I said, super low maintenance, very easy to clean. Got the throne room for the king and the queen. Do not use. Nice storage underneath these cabinets here. I'm gonna open this up for you to see. I've had some people comment and they really enjoy me opening it up and you can see kind of what's coming in and out. Got a lot of room down there to put your goodies and stuff. Got these beautiful square sinks. Love these. And that black hardware, of course, is just my favorite. I'm not gonna show you the mirror because I'm in it. Uh, As you've heard me say before, exhaust vents, there it is. Overhead air, helps keep the mold out, very nice. All right, we're gonna come out of this bathroom here. We'll paint back in here to the living room. Just a nice layout. You can see how see what I'm talking about with the open light, uh, you know, just how, how much light that it brings in here with those windows and how it really kind of brightens the room up for you. All right, so we're gonna come out of there, come around the corner here. Yes, my camera likes that kitchen for some reason. I'm just trying to get it to work with me. There we go. All right. <laughs> Digital thermostat. Light switch has got some 
nice windows coming off. These are those windows from the back that I showed you earlier off the dining room right here. So you're getting all that natural light pouring in here. It looks beautiful. All right, coming in the utility room here. A nice open space right here, if you can see this, for like a deep freeze or special cabinetry or something. Got your furnace again. Got your insulated door on it. Nice, kind of shows you kind of what it looks like. This, All this right here is overhead duct work. Uh, you can see the pipe and how it goes up through the through the ceiling. Comes down here in your return where your air filter and everything goes right there. Got your return vents on the bottom. Very nice. All right, as we pan around here, of course, you got your whole house shut off valve. Nice storage racks above for, for your goodies, your detergents, all that good stuff. One thing I wanted to point out, one thing I love about manufactured homes, is that you have these panels right here for easy access to your plumbing work. If you have a water leak, you have to do some work on it, you can just pop those screws out right there, and there's a panel, boom, you're right in there accessing it. Same way over here with the water heater, right behind those six screws right there in that panel. Take that off, easy access, wide open. There's your breaker box right there. All right, we'll come out of the utility room into the kitchen dining area right here. Let's see what you think about this. It's got a very, very large island in it. Lots of drawer space, lots of seating. I'm gonna come around this side here first so you can get a look at it. Now these got just two bar stools in it. If you got, depending on what size chairs you put there, you can fit four people at this bar very easily. Very large, very open. And not to mention, I just want to show this real quick. All of our homes are insulated for zone three, which is the yellow area up there. So it means they're insulated all the way up to Michigan, Maine, Vermont, all those northern states to give you the max efficiency. So you get your little dining area here. Got a built-in microwave and cabinetry over top of it. Very deep cabinets. As you can see, open these things up. Look at those shelves back there. Go all the way up to the ceiling. Crown moldings, lots and lots of storage. And that's important, especially in a house that doesn't have like a designed pantry area. Um, you want as much cabinets as you can. You got cabinets down here underneath the microwave as well. And these are big open bottom cabinets. As you can see, there's a lot of extra storage space back there. There's a shelf back there also. Of course, you have your dishwasher. Another awesome island. Spin around here for you. I keep running over things. Got all these drawers right here. Nice extension drawers. Got plenty of them. Lots of cabinet storage. And there's somebody left a water bottle down here for us. There you go in case we get thirsty. <laughs> all right. Let's spin around here. And you see there's cabinets and drawers everywhere you look. Got a nice corner cabinet up here. Very deep. Goes all the way back. All the way up. You can see it goes real, real high there, all the way to the ceiling. Then you have these for like your plate wares and all kinds of good stuff. Nice rolled edge countertops. That waterfall front edge on them, so they're very, very nice. They don't, they don't come off easily if you don't catch them with your clothes. Stainless steel stove. Got the Euro hood on it as well. And still, man, I love these backsplashes. That mosaic glass, kind of see-through. Really, really nice. And those are real. They're not any kind of imitation. One thing I wanted to point out last time that I did not is on the side of these island, got a receptacle right there. So you can plug in your crock pots, you can plug in your laptops. Whatever you're doing at the islands, you've got a place to plug it in and work. All right, so we're going to come around here. Of course, here's the big farm sink. Everybody loves. It's got all those attachments like we've seen in the last one right here. Got your vegetable tray, your strainer. Got the Springer sprayer faucet right here. Comes right off. Lots of fun when you spray the kids. Good times. <laughs> All right. Swing around here. Now you got cabinetry over the fridge. You got cabinetry around the fridge as well. So this is kind of makes up for that. Not having the pantry area. Got lots of nice storage right there for that. All righty. I'm going to come around here. Come off the kitchen. Go into the master Again, I'll be posting the, the dimensions of it. You got a ceiling fan in here, lighting, overhead duct work for your heat and air. Really gonna like that a lot. Nice crown and baseboards all the way around. Got a very nice look. Like I've said before, it's just full drywall. So this is finished out. 
two by six walls, so that creates a nice like window seal to be able to put things on. And go over here, kind of pan around the room from this angle right here for you. That way you can kind of see what it's all about. All right, come back around here, your master closet. Got the nice single rod shelf that goes all the way down on the wood shelf. Lots of nice storage space. Of course, you got that big mirror. <laughs> Very nice. I'll never get to use it. My wife will be using it all the time. But, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Coming out of the master closet. Shut that door up there. Still, man, I love them doors. They look so good. All right. I'm going to come around here to the master bath. Da, da, da. Everybody loves the master bath. So, as you see right there, you got your nice soaker tub right in front of you, right in front of those two windows off the back of the house we've seen earlier. Kind of gives you a nice, nice natural light effect in here. Got that chair rail around the back here. Kind of adds a little character to that wall. Got your throne room right here. Nice space. Plenty, plenty big. Um, even if you have somebody that's in a wheelchair, or somebody that's disabled, it's very, very easy to put a chair beside it to get them onto the toilet. Very nice area. Of course, you know, I'm a big fan of these exhaust fans. Got the exhaust fan up here. Come around here. Nice cabinets with drawer space right here. Got the nice square sinks. Black hardware as well. And the can lights up over there. So you don't have to worry about the vanity lights and dusting them and all that good stuff. 30-year LED lights make a big difference, I tell you. All right, come around here to the shower. Lots of space. This shower here is the same one in the Florence. This is a Duma wall. It looks like tile, but it's a little easier to maintain. You don't have the grout lines that you have to worry about, so cleaning is a lot easier, in my opinion. Um, of course, you have your big rain shower head that everybody loves, standing underneath that, and get you a nice, nice, refreshing shower. Black hardware in here as well. Looks really good. And as I said before, I'm a, a pretty decent sized guy. So, you know, being able to kind of move around in here and not touch the walls and, and not hitting everything and knocking it off the shelf is a good thing for me. So, you can see me in the mirror coming out of it a little bit. It's got a lot of space. All right. Coming around back out into the master. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around and taking this tour with me again today. I really, really appreciate all the support and the nice comments that I'm getting on, on YouTube. And uh, be sure to follow me there. It, it's at Big Dave's Dream Homes on YouTube. Or you can follow me on Facebook at David Clark Dream Homes BG. Um, check out stuff. I'll be posting new things. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you'll be able to get all that information. And every time I post a new video, you'll have it. It'll be there for you. And we'll be seeing you soon. Thanks again. Hey guys, thank you so much for sticking around and taking this tour with me today. I've really enjoyed doing this. Um, it's been a new a new adventure for me. And so far, I've been getting lots of great feedback from, from, from you guys. Um, so be sure to leave me more comments, uh, any suggestions, anything that you want to see that I'm not showing, uh, please let me know. And I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Um, as always, uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, hit this little notification bell up here to kind of follow my channel whenever new content is posted. Um, also, I'll leave a link for this home down in the description along with the floor plan and uh, my contact information. And you want to come out and visit me. I'm at the Bowling Green location. It's the only place you're going to find me at. Um, so I'd love to meet you, shake your hand, um, swap stories, whatever you want to do. We'll, we'll, we'll have a good time. I promise you that. So until then, guys, God bless.